Hi everyone, this is Dave with Fulmers.net and uh, today we're continuing with how to make a custom widget for WordPress. Um, and the last time we left off we've made this nifty little header widget area and remember our ultimate goal in this theme is to, or in this tutorial is to have a header area where we would display a banner just like, just like this. See that? That's the uh, the final product, and that's what we are hoping it to achieve here. Um, but let me refresh this, and it should go back to just nothing there. That's what it looks like right now. So uh, let's go into the admin area here, and the first thing we want to do is drag a one of these text uh, widgets and put it up here in the header widget area, which we created. And you can learn how, to, how that was done uh, by watching the previous tutorial. Here we're going to enter the um, just the HTML uh, for the for the banner to display, and this is just uh, an image tag to uh, show that that banner on top. And there's a, a style sheet class here called Center This, and that'll center the ad like you saw it just previously there. We'll save this and go back. Just did that right here. We saved, and then we'll go back to the um, to the to the main page here on the on the front of the. Uh, of the website. We're just going to refresh this. You shouldn't see anything yet um, because we're not done. Um, we're ready to go in the admin area with everything, but we still really don't have anything that's calling that um, that header widget area to display anywhere on your theme. So we want to uh, edit a couple of different files. So let's open up Dreamweaver, and the first thing we want to do is uh, open up the, the sidebar PHP file, which you would find in your 2010 know WordPress content themes 2010 and then sidebar and on the sidebar we're going to open that up right here move down to line 52 the reason we open the sidebar PHP file is because the sidebar has um, many uh, calls or functions that call those widgets that are uh, already in your theme and, and remember we want to use only recycled code that you find in your in your theme to do this so in line 52 you'll notice this um, this function that says dynamic sidebar and it's calling the secondary widget area here. So we're going to select this and we're going to control C, copy that. And um, we can go ahead and close this file now. We're going to open the header because ultimately that's where the, the banner is going to be showing up. So let's open up the header file and we're going to move down to just right under the body tag. Uh, right here, it's line 55 on this, but it'll be something else perhaps in your theme and you can play with that. Uh, and we're going to control V this, paste that code that we had, and we're going to change one more thing. Remember, um, our widget that we created from the previous tutorial is, is called header. Remember, remember that? It's called header uh, widget area. And that's the only thing you really need to change from this. We're going to save this, I'll save, and we're going to upload it. And um, once that's done there, let's say it's done, we can, we can go back right here and we're just going to refresh and now you should be able to see, there it is, voila. See how easy that was? You just used the same code that you found in your, in your existing theme. So um, again, this is really simple to do and you can, you know, your client will love you for it because he'll be able or she will be able to uh, change the the ad that displays up there simply by just entering the um, the HTML here for the tag or if they're using AdSense with Google then uh, Google provides that code and they would just cut it from Google and paste it right here uh, and save and that said it would show an ad up there so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I look forward to your comments visit us uh, online at uh, HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash omers dot net uh, and if you need a custom widget uh, designed for your for your website uh, feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to help if you have any questions about this tutorial please post them on our site and again thank you very much bye bye